Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a brand new Fates Collide Pokemon Booster Box. This set just came out in the past week, so I'm very excited to open up this booster box. I'll be opening it up in two parts, and I'll post the videos one right after another. So 18 packs in this video, 18 packs in part two. And I did buy this box from Collector's Cash for $90. You'll find a link to their website, www.collectorscash.com, in the description of this video. So I can give a quick 360 view on the box. And this set is based around Mega Alakazam. Surprisingly, only five holo cards in this set. So I'm excited to see what the pull rates are for this set. I'm thinking you can get a lot of ultra rares per box. So I'll take the plastic wrap off here, give you a good view of the box without the plastic wrap on it, not so much of a reflection, and then 18 packs on this side, 18 packs on that side, so there's all 36 packs. I'll start with the left one. So here we go, right on top there is a pack that has a Mega Alakazam on it. One secret rare in the set, which is the Alakazam EX Full Art card trick here. And I can give away the codes in this box. Usually I give them away on my blog, but I have plenty to give away in both. Okay, first pack here starts off with a Carbink, followed by Riolu. There's a Diglett, Minchino, Coughing. There's Kangaskhan, followed by Sinchino. Team Rocket's Handiwork. I believe this is the Full Art Trainer that you can get as well. There's a Larvitar, which is just a common. And the first rare is an Explode non hollow And I'll summarize my polls at the end of this video as well. That way if you're short on time, you can just skip towards the end. So now we're on to a Delphox Break cover art work pack. Okay, so second code there. Okay, second pack starts off with a Bronzor. Next up, Deerling. There's a Carbink, Fennekin, Seal, Weezing, Power Memory, Audino Spirit Link. Can get a Mega Audino in here. There's an Aerodactyl, which is a rare. Excellent pull right there. And then the final card in the pack, ooh, there we go. First ultra rare pull is an Alakazam EX. So an excellent pull right there. And I will set that aside, but two packs into it and I've already pulled out something great. Okay, next up here, third different artwork, Lugia Break, and then the last one, Zygarde. This is the first set to include Zygarde in it. Make sure I do the card trick correctly. Okay, pack here starts off with a Snubble, followed by Fennekin, Jigglypuff, Snivy, Deerling, Wormadom, so several grass type Pokemon in a row, Scorched Earth, Duosion, Reverse Hollow, is a Scorched Earth, so second time I pulled this card in the pack, and then the final card is a Mr. Mime non hollow Pulled this card plenty of times in the four packs I've opened so far of Fates Collide. So here is the last artwork, and then it will just repeat artwork-wise on the remaining packs in this video. So there is the code. You can always just pause the video and, and take the code. Okay, pack starts off here with a Snubble, followed by Binacle. There is a Meowth. Jigglypuff, Riolu, Whimsicott, Alakazam Spirit Link, Fairy Drop Trainer, Reverse Hollow of, Binacle, which is just a common, and then the rare in this pack, a Rayoniclus. And again, only five hollow cards, so a majority of the non ultra rares in that spot will be the non hollow variety. You can get break cards in this set. I believe there are five different ones. So potentially you could get two ultra rares in one pack if you consider break ultra rare cards. Okay, this pack starts off with Larvitar, followed by Burmy. There's a Cottony, Bronzor, Seal, Power Memory, Halucha, 
Energy Pouch, Reverse Hollow of, Snivy, just a common, and the rare is a Kabutops Non Hollow. And I'm thinking this set is similar to Breakpoint in that you can tell, or at least get a good idea if you're going to have a rare hollow or an ultra rare in that spot, depending on the style of the code card. Let's see if it works here. So this, I'm guessing, is a non-hollow rare in that spot. Okay, so pack starts with Wismer. There's a Mincino, Gothita, Solosis, Snivy, Fossil Excavation Kit, next up, Wormadom, Zygarde, so there you go right there, this is an uncommon, several Zygarde cards in this set. Reverse Hollow is a Snubble, just a common, and the rare is a Barbarical. So that proved my theory there on the code card. I know I had said that, I believe it was for Breakthrough or Breakpoint, and then someone said, oh well, that's not true, that you can identify what will be in the rare spot by looking at the pattern on the code card. Okay, here is the code. And this one is the different design, so I'm assuming at least a hollow in here, but we'll take a look here in a second. Okay, so there's a Solosis, Spoink, Gothita, Fennekin, Meowth, Servine, Ultra Ball, Old Amber Aerodactyl, Reverse Hollow of, Mandibuzz, and that is a rare, excellent pull right there. And then the actual rare in the pack is a white Kyurem Hollow. So, so far, my theory has proved to be true. Just a little bit of hollow pattern on there. You can just see it on the top of the card through the camera there. I will set that aside. So far, one ultra rare pull, one hollow pull, and two rare reverse hollows. About halfway through part one here. Okay, code card. As you can see, definitely off cut a little bit. Okay, started off with a coughing, followed by Cottony, Larvitar, Vullaby, Fennekin, Cinchino, Shuckle, there is a Fairy Garden Stadium card, there's a nice double colorless energy reverse hollow, and then the rare in the pack is a Mothim non hollow. Okay, next pack here. Mega Alakazam. And I will be opening up all of the other Fates Collide products that have been released. The Elite Trainer Box I'll be doing tomorrow. And then there's two three-pack pin blisters that came out with Fates Collide, as well as two one-pack blisters. I'll be opening up those in the future as well. Okay, so we have a Snivy, Wismer, Minchino, Riolu, Binacle, Shauna, Pupitar, Energy Reset, Reverse Hollow of, Carbink, is that a rare? Nope, way off right there. That's only a common. And then the actual rare is a Grumpig. I know several people have asked what I think of Fates Collide. I really haven't opened enough packs to get a good feel on the set for sure. But there are several cards that I really like in the set, like Lugia Break I'm a big fan of, as well as Umbreon EX and EX Full Art. Hoping to pull those two cards in this opening. Okay, so here's that Carbink that I thought was a rare. Of course, just a common. Larvitar. Diglett. Minchino. Spoink. Mega Catcher. There's a Duosion. Kangaskhan. Reverse hollow, ooh, reverse hollow of a Bronzong break. First break pull right there. I'm a big fan of what break cards look like. In the TCG, they're not the greatest, just because they're a little bit slower to get into play. And then the final card here is a Rotom non-hollow rare. I just reviewed on my blog a couple of days ago. Actually, it would have been Friday and Thursday. Greninja and then Greninja Break. Both, both those two cards are very good, but with Greninja Break, it's essentially a stage three card. So it really does take a while to get it into the active Pokemon spot or set up on the bench. Okay, this pack starts off with a Larvitar. There is a Seal. Riolu. Jigglypuff. 
Next up, Fennekin, Fairy Drop Trainer, Sinchino, Strong Energy, Shauna is the Reverse Hall, of course, that is an uncommon, and the rare in this pack is an Audino EX, a second EX pull of the box, two regular EXs, Audino EX here, and you can get a Mega Audino EX in this set as well. So not too bad a pull so far, I would say pretty average overall. Pulled out three combined ultra rares and hollow cards, and of course break cards are usually in addition to the 12 that you normally get in booster boxes. Okay, so this pack starts off with Riolu, there's a Snubble, Binacle, Bronzor, Burmy, Halucha, there's an N Supporter. Next up, Brazen. Reverse Hollow is a Pupitar, and that is an uncommon. And the rare in the pack, a Delt Fox Hollow. So, second Hollow pull right there. Two packs in a row with pretty decent cards in there. I can set that aside. Okay, so it looks like there are five packs left in part one here after this pack. I will be giving away. Fates Collide Packs in the near future on YouTube. I have 10 individual packs to give away and I'm still debating on whether to give away a Fates Collide Booster Box or not. Okay, so we have Larvitar. Seems like several packs have started with Larvitar. There's a Meowth, Coughing, Burmy, Vullaby, Wormadom. Next up, Kabuto. There's a Loudred. Reverse Hollow of Fennekin. I like this card. You can see the flames coming out of Fennekin's mouth there. Just a common though. And then the rare is a Superior. And I was looking up prices before this video just to see how much these cards are worth. Really there's not one card that's worth way more than any other card in the set. Top cards are worth about $20 to $30, but there's several of them. At least right now, in the future, one card really could take off in the TCG and raise the value of it. Okay, so this pack starts with a Diglett, followed by Snivy, Coughing, Larvitar, Vullaby, there's a Wigglytuff, Helix Fossil Ammonite, Sinchino, Reverse Hollow of, Power Memory, that is an uncommon, and the rare is... Oh, there's a nice pull right there. An Alakazam EX Full Art. I like the looks on this card as well. The artwork looks very cool looking. So now I've pulled both Alakazam EX and the EX Full Art version. So that is a nice pull right there. And I know one of my subscribers messaged me and said that they pulled two Full Art cards out of one box. Usually you only get the one. So it'll be interesting to see if I get similar pulls to that. Okay, here's the code card. Okay, this pack starts with a Burmy, so it seems like really similar common cards. Snubble, Bronzor, Minchino, Deerling, there's a Bent Spoon, Trainer, Laudrid, Wormadom, Reverse Hollow is, a Solosis, which is a common, and the rare in the pack. A Lucario, and that is a holo card. Had to tilt that card back a little bit. You can see the holo right there on the camera. So third holo pull. Pretty good pull so far, and that makes six combined hollows in ultra rares in part one here. I have two more packs left after this one. So there could be another ultra rare or so to make 13 on the box. Usually that's what better boxes have is 13 combined hollows and ultra rares usually 12 though so this pack starts off with meowth there is a binacle gothita fennekin seal brazen there is a double colorless energy wormadon Reverse Hollow. Ooh, there we go right there. The breaks always surprise me in that Reverse Hollow spot, and this is the one that I wanted most from this set. Lugia Break. That is a great pull right there. Okay, and the final card in the pack 
is a Lucario and this one is a non hollow so just pulled a Lucario hollow in the last pack now pulled a different Lucario that is a non hollow rare okay second to last pack here okay code card okay Mincino or some people tell me it's Mincino there's a Wismer Gothita, Riolu, there's a Cottony, Strong Energy, Energy Pouch, Dugong, Reverse Hollow of a Strong Energy, and the rare is an Aerodactyl. And with like Mincino or Cincino, something like that, the pronunciations are a little bit different. Depends on really who you listen to, and even if you watch the anime, they pronounce some names differently. For example, in the original Pokemon series, if you listen to some people, they say Pokemon, and then in other episodes or other seasons, it's pronounced Pokemon. So really, it's just what you think is best like that. Okay, so final pack here in part one. I'll have a link to part two on the screen as well as in the description of this video. So last pack here starts off with a Vullaby. There's a Solosis. Next up, Cottony. There's a Minchino, followed by Wismer. Next up, Weezing. There's a Fairy Garden Stadium card. Whimsicott, Reverse Hollow, is a Coughing, just a common. And the final rare here in part one is an Omastar non hollow. But overall, pretty happy with my pulls. I can summarize those now. Pull out two rare Reverse Hollows. One is Mandibuzz here, and then the other one was the Aerodactyl. Then pulled out three hollow cards, so three of the five hollow cards I pulled out. There's a Lucario. You can see the hollow pattern if I tilt it. Delphox, you can see the hollow pattern at the bottom left there. And then the white Hurum, it's hard to see the hollow pattern. Just at the very top, a little bit to the right, you can see that. So pulled out three hollow cards. I pulled out two break cards, really the one that I was hoping for most I pulled in this Lugia break. And then the other one that I pulled out was Bronzong break. And then pulled out three ultra rares, two regular EX, one EX full art. So I pulled out Audino and then Alakazam. And then I would say the best card that I pulled out of this half the box would be the Alakazam EX full art. So there you have it. Very good pulls in the first half here. Hopefully part two is just as good. And again, there'll be a button on this screen that will lead you to part two as well as a link in the description of this video that will link you over to part two as well. So thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure and check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.